Hey guys, it's me, Jimmy Lou, from the Bessie Craft Corner for my portion of this year's Christmas Craftathon. So if you're joining me and you're new, please say hello and tell me where you are watching from. Let's see, is my camera going to let me flip today? Some days it does, and some days it doesn't. And today isn't one of those, it's not going to days. So, welcome to my page. I'm Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. And, there we go. The alert just went out. Hello! Oh, I'm so excited to be part of yet another craft-a-thon with Southern Crush at Home. Thank you, Miss Melanie, for including me. Hang on, guys, I'm tripping over something here. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So, hey Miss Cheryl, how are you? How are you? Welcome, welcome, guys. Okay, so I have to tell you, you know, I'm all about like the crazy hat, the crazy glasses and stuff, but there's no way I would be able to see to craft like this. And I'm about to tell you just a few minutes here, Sharon, because I want to make sure that a lot of our friends are on to here. So, the, the snowman glasses are going off, the snowman hat, that's going to, because there's no way I can craft with all this stuff on. But welcome, welcome, guys. How exciting. Another year of Christmas craft is on. Okay, <clears throat> before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a little health update because um, I got pretty sick um, the other day, Thursday. Shauna covered for me on my page. Thank you so much, Miss Shauna from Fraps and Scraps for doing that for me. Hi, Sh hi Raquel. Hi, EB. Um, <clears throat> Thursday called the doctor. The doctor said, go and have a COVID test. And I did test positive for COVID. So I have been in bed, literally sick all day. I have gotten up to do my portion of the craftathon. So if I'm not my normal or this hot bubbly self, you know why I may be sneezing. I may be coughing. I may be drinking. I apologize ahead of time. I went back and forth with being overhead shots and being face on shots. And I thought, well, you could just see this hot mess express. So um, <clears throat> okay, so let's get crafty because we have 20 minutes to get this done. I have two cards set up for us to do. If we only get through one, that's okay too. You can come back later this week and I'll show you the other cards I had planned. Okay, so let me just show you a finished project. Look at how cute this is. Guys, we've been doing these in our card class. I set up a card class this year. My very first one I was super excited for. And, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to get caught up in the comments. Hello to everybody. If you're here, hello. Okay? Hello, hello, hello. Um, hang on. Yes. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, I have everything pre-cut. And if you want the sizes, you'll have to message me. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the supplies from Close to My Heart, um, that link is in the description of this video. Let's go to the table. You're going to be seeing it upside down, but that's okay. Maybe I can work right. Maybe I can work backwards. I don't know. So anyways, we're going to start out with our pieces. I have a couple pieces already cut and set to go. Um, I did use an embossing. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, ooh, what is that thing called? Uh, not a Cricut. That's not what I used. A, I should have pulled these out of here ahead of time. Then I wouldn't have had to fumble through it. Oh, well, um, a, uh, my die cut machine. I used my die cut machine and the die cut from this stamp pack. Here's the stamp set. It is called, um, it is, ooh, it is called Holly and Ivy card making workshop. And, um, it comes with all these, with these three cool die cuts and all these cute, wonderful stamps. I know that's hard to see, isn't it? So, um, <clears throat> let's just, let's just work. Okay. So first thing that you have to do is you have to do some embossing. So I have my embossing powder all set up. Look guys, there's no need for me. I'm actually not feeling better. I'm feeling a little kind of, but I'm here for you guys. I'm here. Miss Melanie, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I'm taking this littlest stamp that looks kind of like a little Christmas flower, maybe a snowflake. I'm using gold embossing powder and a Versamark ink pad. Um, I tested positive for COVID. Um, so um, I'm getting through that. Um, I actually, I feel a little better today than I did yesterday and definitely a lot better than I did on Thursday. So, so I just went straight down the line I put a little bit of the Versamark. Now you can't see it because it's a clear, well, you can kind of see it. If you look, it's like a watermark. Okay. So then you just take your embossing powder, 
sprinkle a little bit over the top. Ooh, that's a little more than a little bit there, Jimmy Lou. Come on, girl, you get it together. You can do it. Yes, you can. Woo. Just tap that off of there, the extra, and and it looks kind of like a powdery type thing, okay? So let's just scoot this down, move this stuff out of the way because if the heat hits this, it will melt it. <clears throat> and let's just emboss. Now, let me get my tweezers. If I hold it with the tweezers, I can hold it up so you guys can see it. Hopefully I can keep it pinched all that time and it don't blow it into tomorrow. Now wait, let's hold it this way. If you watch, you'll be able to see it change. Can you see it changing? that's hot so you can see it change where see where it looks like a powder where it looks more like a solid you want it to change over to look more like that solid all the way across okay then I would just give it one quick inspection guys just to make sure that all of my powder has turned over to that goldish looking because if it doesn't look like that goldish, if it still looks powdery, okay? If this stuff does last forever, you are right, Miss Susie. I just caught your comment. This stuff lasts for a very long time and a very little bit goes a really long way. Okay, so I have my part here and I have some decorative paper. Let's add some glue. <clears throat> this is art glitter glue and I'm just gonna run a line of glue around all four sides of my decorative paper here. Okay. And then I'm just placing it face down on top of that opening. See, now I have that decorative piece right there. One. Oh, gee whiz, I just pulled out like eight wipes. <laughs> wipe up any glue, even if it gets on the outside of your card. You could just take a baby wipe and just wipe that excess off. Just don't scrub back and forth or you can make it, um, you can like, you can rip up the paper, but there we go. So that covers that part. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close the Versa mark because that should have been done a bit ago. <laughs> okay. And my card base, here's my card base and <clears throat> Excuse me, I am very sorry for the congestions and stuff. Here is a stripity piece that we're gonna add to the bottom part of our card base. And then I have a small stripity part we're gonna add after I erase my pencil mark, guys. Sorry, I thought I got all the pencil marks off. It's gonna go across the top part above the tree. And then that embossed piece is gonna go right across the top of that first striped part. So let's just add these pieces on. It is, right? Yes, I do too, Miss Christy Sloan. I love this. Um, I was glad I got this set. Um, <clears throat> sadly, this set is no longer available. I do have a um, an unfinished kit for one of the prizes for the Craft-a-thon. So if you'd like to try and make some of these cards, um, make sure to be signed up for those prizes on the Craft-a-thon because you can get... You can either choose this set or you can choose the most recent set that Close to My Heart has out. Uh, the choice is yours, but either way, you get a card-making kit if you win my prize. So, yes, I love this paper. You can still get the paper. It's um, those die cuts that are just a stinker to get a hold of now. So, and then I'm putting this piece right across the top. Sorry that I sound so sniffly and congestion, congested if you missed the announcement at the beginning of the video, I did test positive for COVID um, yesterday and I've been, I've been listening to my big sister, so take it easy, rest a lot, drink a lot. Um, <clears throat> a lot of my crafting sisters already knew, <laughs> so they were telling me the same things. So, so I don't know why they do that, Miss Eileen, but if, um, how do you sign up for prizes? 
Miss Cheryl Miller, anyone who's watching, in the description of the video, you're going to see, um, hang on one second, where the heck is it? Um, you are going to see, oh, that's where you can watch the craft is on. So sorry, I thought I had that in there. Let me just put that up there quick. Um, if you want to sign up for prizes, oh gosh, it's here, I know it is. Here you go. If you want to sign up for prizes, right there is the link to do so. Um, I am taking vitamin C, vitamin zinc, all that good stuff I am taking. So, okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to do a little bit of stamping here, guys. Um, oh, and I forgot my little tiny bows. I leave them in the plastic sleeve that I put them in because otherwise I lose them. But these little tiny bows right here, look how cute this is. Is this not the most adorable little tiny bow you ever saw? Let's add this on here, guys. So right here at the top, this goes. And then right in the center of that, I'm going to add a little dab of glue because I have these really sweet things called glitter gems that close to my heart cells. And they're super duper teeny tiny. You can use alcohol markers, whoops, to color them, which is kind of cool. So you can make them any color that you want. But if you just put the gem right into the, they are sticky backed. But I don't know, my sticky back seems to stay on my film and not come off with the gem. So I just add that glue. And so then we have that super cute right there, okay? So now I'm going to use my archival black ink. And we're going to we're gonna type. We're going to stamp. It's going to say peace and joy directly underneath. Now, these work mats are great because you can clean these off. But if you flip it over, it has that foam to give you that little bit of spring action that you need to make your stamps stamp what you need it to. So there we go, it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. It's homemade, right? Oh, I promise I'm going right to bed after the craft is on. <laughs> okay, so flip this back over. Plus this has like the grid on it and stuff. Oh, I do believe I got chocolate. <laughs> I was eating chocolate in here the other day. There's chocolate on my mat, hang on. There we go. <clears throat> I don't want to have chocolate on the back side of my card, although it might be a nice treat. <laughs> Hello, Christopher. Hi, Joyce. If you are a newbie here, thanks for joining me. Hit that follow button for me because when we reach when we reach 10,000 followers, what's in that gift box right there wrapped in llama Christmas paper is an, uh, an aerobi. Listen, I'm doing good because I did put the NyQuil cap onto the onto the opening of my soda bottle earlier. So, <laughs> um, it, it's a Ryobi cordless glue gun. So when we hit 10,000 followers, we are going to be yes, crafting a chocolate. No better mix. Okay, so all we have left to do now is to add this to the card front. So you could do one of two things because I want to get to that second card. You can put it on foam tape and raise it up just a little bit to give it some dimension. Or you could take your um, <clears throat> your ink pad, the green, evergreen this is, and um, a blending brush and just go around the edges and look at the difference it makes in the cards. So now you have two cards exactly the same, but just slightly different because of that green. So, um, okay. What's my time? Oops, sorry. Okay, we got time. We could do this. All right, so the next card that we're going to do, we're going to get at least the card front done, um, is one of these. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay, so let's build that card front, okay, you guys? So, oh, we do need the card front. <laughs> Fold up your card front. What you're going to put down first is the stripe side. Again, with the, I thought I erased all these. Um, <clears throat> add the glue to the back side. Yes, welcome all new friends. So glad that you're here. You see Chrissy Coleman in the comments dropping links all over the place. That's because she is my best friend and my helper here. And um, she helps me to get things going smoothly, especially in an event like this. And um, 
also some good friend followers, Cheryl Miller and a few other ladies that get on here and they just do all the things and they make you all feel so welcome. And I'm just blessed to have all of them in my life. Okay, so once that is on, then I'm going to add this, but I'm going to add it just slightly, sorry, <laughs> slightly in, slightly down. And what we're just doing is layering some paper to give it some dimension. And it just makes it that much fun. Now listen, if you're not a wet glue kind of person and you like to use a tape runner, use a tape runner. Um, yes, Victoria, they are. I got those off of Amazon and I mostly got them to store my die cuts in, but they are great for keeping all of your project pieces in when you're doing cards like this. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer um, the red on top of the green. Sorry guys, get a little winded there. That's because I'm excited. I'm excited to be in the craft of fun. Guys, I want you to know that, um, oh, hi Rico. You like my shirt, Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> I saw it, I was like, hmm, I should get something for the craftathon, and then I got this one. So, um, <clears throat> but you can get your official craftathon t shirt over at Southern Crush as well. Okay, so I'm just adding this on the front, and then what I'm gonna do is I have, oh gosh, what did I do with it? <gasps> Here we go is I'm taking this white strip right here and I'm gonna dovetail it just like you do a ribbon, okay? So you wanna fold up and cut up. Fold up, cut up, just like that. And then you're just gonna stamp Merry Christmas. It's gonna get stamped on here, let me see. Chrissy gave me a five minute warning. Thank you, Miss Chrissy Goldman. Who thought I couldn't get two Christmas cards done? Ha ha. <clears throat> so I just stamped Merry Christmas on there. And I'm going to add this onto the front side. Let me tell you guys, if you order a card kit from Close to My Heart, you get all of the instructions, all the cutting instructions and everything in order to be able to cut all of your pieces. So the last thing I need to do is my little Christmas ball. I need to stamp that out so that I can emboss it as well. Okay, so Versamark. The only complaint I have about this set is this background stamp that goes on to the Christmas ball does not go straight across the whole ornament. That's my only beef about this. So you have to be really careful that all of your stamping gets done. And then bring this back in. <clears throat> and let's emboss it. We're going to make it. And just like so, now we're just going to emboss that. Don't spill that, Jimmy. Ooh, you'll be so mad at yourself because it's worse than glitter. Okay. So I just keep a pair of tweezers handy to hold down my piece so that way I don't burn my fingers. And then just emboss it. Hello from Ohio. Hello, Miss Tina. Thanks for sprinkling. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making your head spin. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> okay, come on now. Just emboss it. Okay. You just have to make sure that all of that gold gets embossed because if it doesn't and you go to put it onto your card, you're going to schmutz it everywhere. This is going to get glued right onto the front here. And then I have a little tiny little bow right here that's going to go on the paper queen. I don't know about that. Okay, we have one minute. We can do it, guys. We can do it in one minute. Remember, guys, to always be kind no matter what because you never know what another person might be going through. Again, this is Jimmy Lou from Messy Craft Corner. I really appreciate each of you. Here's the finished product, what it will look like once we put the stickle, or the stickles, the um, little glitter gems on and the bow. Here's the finished product. 
Tweezers are a great tool. Yeah, remember to be kind. It's important. Thank you, Miss Melanie, for having me for yet another fun, exciting year in the Christmas Craftathon. And um, be sure and follow the group in the description of this video if you want to rewatch any of the ones you missed and follow on the rest of the day. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you all real soon.